welcome to another Mars Play video. This is Mars Mojito, and today we're going to be picking up where we left off with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Let's get to it. All right, so where we last left off, we had just killed uh, at least the bandits, or I guess this boss's uh, people. And now we're going to get an introduction to this smug new character. I normally have someone else do the field work. I don't suppose you know how to get this stain out. There'll be more blood if you step closer. Perhaps. But then you won't hear my proposition, Mysterious. This guy just comes off as smug and arrogant. Clean slaughter. Very good work. Not much sympathy for the men who work with you. Not with me. For me. Employees. Now ex-employees, I suppose. So you don't work for the Cyclops? Your kind are unusually believers of myth. Not the monster. The man. You are an outsider. Why are you here? Indeed, I'm not from Kefalonia. I'm here because what I'm looking for is. If you'll follow me, Cassandra. Who are you? How do you know my name? I'm Elpinor of Kira. How do I know your name? I did what you did. I asked and people told me. Tell me who sent you. An inquisitive nature. Good. That will help. You know more than you let on. Knowing you is in my best interest. And knowing me is in yours. My prized possession was stolen and brought to Ithaca. Penelope's woven shroud. I need you to steal it back. The shroud of Penelope? The wife of Odysseus? You're joking. A piece of it, yes. Impossible. If it existed, it would be priceless. Which is why I want it back. Ithaca is not a small island. I need more information. I'd start at the home of Odysseus. Well, what's left of it? An inspiring tale. A reunion of past lovers. All right. I'll do it. Don't expect it to be easy. That's why it will cost you. Then it's agreed. There's a rowboat in the harbor. Use it. It's not meant for open water, so be wise. When you have the shroud, meet me in the Temple of Zeus. I will. Oh, and Mystius, don't fail. Okay, so our quest to find this guy that was given to us by Marcos has turned into another quest given to given by our target. So uh, we're going to go through and check our skill points, check our gear, and uh, see what our main objective is and make our way over to that so that we can progress the story.
headed to the house of Odysseus on a tiny boat. Let's try not to piss Poseidon off, shall we? The legendary shroud. The Aminor wasn't lying. Okay, so before we head to our main objective, uh, we're going to go here and try to clear this question mark that appeared on the map, uh, discover this location, as well as get any loot that this location was hide hiding. So I um, really like the underwater scenes in this game. Looks really, really good, really sharp, uh, kind of like Black Flag. Um, but, you know, Black Flag kind of set the bar for all the uh, underwater and the above water type uh, scenarios for Assassin's Creed. So anyways, we're going to progress on. Keep it moving. The mighty Odysseus' palace was here. Thank you. 
So this is something that I didn't experiment with too much, except for when I was playing Assassin's Creed Origins with Bayek, um, the hunter, the hunter class. So I'm going to focus on that with Cassandra. I still like the Assassin's class um, as far as skill tree, but I'm going to really try to improve her hunter skill set and um, see how well we can do at a distance and taking out as many bad guys as we can with strong bows. I mean, cloth. Okay, so as you can see, that was the last of the uh, guys that I had to take out with my bow. Um, the hunter, the hunter skill tree is um, pretty fun, especially for sniper from a distance. But you do have to do a lot of running around to kind of keep your keep your bad guys uh, far away. So that's the downside. But we're gonna rescue this lady. Can you fight? We cleared out all the bad guys, so we shouldn't have to fight anything if you know if we do just very little so this should be easy peasy on helping her get out of here and progress in the story my thanks i can't believe i let those malakas sneak up on me ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own you are wandering around on your own <sighs> it 
You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you get to the palace. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Cassandra. I'm Odessa. Named after the great Odysseus. Why would you want to go up there? I am a descendant of Odysseus. I'm on a pilgrimage. You're a descendant of the former king of Ithaca? And the man who created the Trojan horse and defeated the Cyclops? The one who traveled to the land of the Lotus Eaters? The one the Odyssey is about? Yes, I am. Why? You're not the first who said that, is all. Well, I trust I don't need to prove my lineage to get up to the palace. We should head to the palace while we have the chance. Standing next to that lady, I mean, just makes Cassandra look like a giant. Uh, even when she's standing next to Marcos, Marcos looks this, small compared to her. Trouble. So it just shows you how tall Cassandra is know. in the game. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here, I might understand him more. Well, do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there. Well, this is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important to you? Are you joking? Odysseus lived there, ruled there. He ended the Trojan War, eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods, too. That caused him a lot of trouble. And it made him a legend. You aren't a child. Stop acting like one. Wanting what Odysseus had, without trying, would be childish. I'm willing to do whatever is necessary. That's easier said than done. Greatness is what I seek. It's what I've desired my entire life. I refuse to end up like everyone around me, content to go about their daily lives until they're forgotten in death. If you want Odysseus's greatness, you have to do it your own way. He was famous because of his cunning. What have you done? I've traveled all the way here. To see the ruins of Odysseus's life, not to live your own. I should know better than to take advice from a mercenary. Leave me. Okay, so I could have easily left, but I just wanted to make sure I got that credit for location discover. Um, I'm going to look around this island one last time, make sure I didn't miss any secret uh, treasures or anything. And then uh, we're going to press on and head back uh, to continue the main quest line.
have known it was you who'd ask for the fur, Zillos. And I should have known it was you to get them for me. Cassandra's always on the job. Don't tell Marcos. She'll get jealous. I posted publicly to give the others a chance. But you're always so keen. What are the pelts for this time? The Athenians want armor for the war. Good protection for them. Good drachmi for me. Here they are. All accounted for. In record time, too. Take your pay. It's well earned. Stay out of trouble, Lilos. You should take your own advice. All right, so while we were out, we went ahead and killed a couple wolves because uh, that guy needed uh, some pelts for a side quest. So we went ahead and took care of that. Look, it's Marcus's mighty champion. And we might as well take care of her Don't turn into for her side I quest. I dropped the bandits and sent them to Avis. Your wood should arrive in town soon. And you expect me to believe the word of a mercenary? I didn't expect you to believe me, so I brought this. Here's your proof. A sample of the special wood you want so badly. These bows you're making had better be worthy of Apollo for all the trouble I've gone to. By the gods! You sure you work with Marcos? He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos. Cassandra? Good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now, the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Miss Theos. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyos. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. Generals bleed like anyone else. Good. What do you say? I accept. Splendid. You will need a boat. You have one, don't you? If I had a boat, we wouldn't be having this conversation. A shame. It's too far of a swim, I'm afraid. Even for you. I'll find one. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming. And the wolf is on the wrong side. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under exactly? Kefalonia. And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Fokis. Alright, so the smug uh, guy gave us another quest, and we were able to keep the Shroud, which was just kind of a boondoggle quest he sent us on, really, to test our skills. So, we're going to check our skill set now. Again, I'm pouring points into Hunter, and when I have some spare points, I'll pour them into Assassin. But I really want to see how well this hunter skill set is on her and we're going to check and see if the equipment or gear that we found during the questing as well as the quest reward is better than what we're wearing because i really like to start putting on some regular normal gear uh, so we can get off of the uh the ubisoft kind of gift gear if you will
Okay, so in this case, we're going full Penelope Shroud uh, gear set. I like how it looks on her, so we're going to roll with this um, and uh, take a break from the uh, northern Viking armor look for now. So um, so I like the, the way we're progressing pretty good so far. Uh, we're going to take a look around, see if we get some more side quests, see what we have to do to get to the main objective. And then, the and then from there, progress the story. Um, so, uh, let's see what we go, what we have left. Okay, so just taking one final look at the island of Capalonia, seeing if there's anything that I miss, because we're probably going to have to come back and just keep clearing the island, make sure everything's discovered. So at this point, I think we're at a good stage in the game to put a bookmark in it. We're going to come back and we're going to press on with uh, finding a shipbuilder and uh, continue on for the quest. So, um, as usual, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps. And we'll see you in the next video.